Welcome to the Bechtel Innovation Design Center. This is where the design process starts in the building. This is the second floor area. More specifically, this is where our computer workstations are. This allows students to model, sit around with teams, figure out their design virtually before taking it off to the next stages of the building. Um, these CAD workstations will have all the software commonly available at Purdue University um, and allow everyone to do that, uh, do their work. Over there we have meeting rooms, um, so in case they need quiet time or if they need a whiteboard or something else like that, they can go over there, test that out, and then come back into here again. Welcome to the prototyping room. Um, we use the prototyping room here as a way for students that are either new to the design and fabrication process or even um, if they are familiar with it. Students will take their designs that come from the CAD area, bring them in here, and have them print or have them be cut on the laser. Either way, this is a really nice, um, safe area for students to work in. You can do something really quick. There's not too much trepidation if someone's not used to machinery and manufacturing equipment. Um, it really provides a nice space and it's quick. In the spirit of you know, inclusion, we've actually named all of our printers on campus in both the Kanoi Boilermaker Lab and in the Bechtel Center after famous women in arts and science. Um, each one of these women actually provided a great deal of insight into art, into science, even many, many years ago. And we thought that it would be actually a nice homage to those women. So welcome to the next step in the design process. So this is the main floor. The main floor is where students will take their smaller prototypes that they've made up there, the quicker prototypes. They'll come down here, they'll actually use these machines like CNC lathe, CNC mills that we have here, or the water jet to cut out the designs in stronger materials. We also have woodworking, we have welding, we have an entire automotive bay. All of these things come together for that one middle step of the design process where they can build everything together into the components and then go downstairs to the assembly area to start connecting all of the pieces to see if that works. This floor is the conclusion of our story. So this is where the students take the projects that they have from design up on the second floor down to here to assemble them. Imagine this room filled with assembly tables and wood tables and we can have students totally flexible. So you need an outlet, you have an outlet. Um, if you need air, you have it. It just comes right off the ceiling. This room is designed to be flexible um, and productive at the same time. As the students are taught here, here at the university, the design process is iterative. It means you might hop back to a previous step to correct something. So students will be going up and down the floors, but that mimics the design process as a whole, which is exactly what this building is about. It's about teaching this process, it's about doing this process, and it's about implementing this process.